What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be starting our regular expression series in Python. Now, regular expression is used to identify and specify a pattern of characters that you're looking for in your text. It sounds pretty straightforward, but the actual syntax can be pretty confusing at first, but throughout this series, I'll try to make it as simple as I possibly can. By the end of it, you should be using regular expression like a pro. So without further ado, let's jump onto my screen and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna take a look at is the RE module plus regex methods. The RE module is just the module that you need to import in order to use regular expression in Python. We'll try out each of these, we're gonna keep it really simple. And then in the next several lessons, we'll look at how you can do more complex patterns to actually search. So really quickly, before we get started, let's just take a look at these methods. We have find all, which is gonna return a list of all your matches. We have search, which actually creates a match object. So we won't actually see what we're actually returning, and we'll look at that in just a little bit, but there is a way to access that, and it's fairly simple. We also have split, which is gonna return a list where the string has been split on that specific pattern that you want. The last one is sub, so it's just a replacement. You're gonna replace a specific string with another string. So let's come right down here. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna import the regular expression module. So all we have to do is run this. And we're gonna come right down here. Now, what we're gonna do is just test out all these different methods. And we'll do this just on a simple string for now. So we'll do quote. And for this variable, we'll create a quote here. And let's actually use double quotes for this one. And what we're gonna say is we're gonna say, there's only one thing I hate more than lying, skim milk, which is water that's lying about being milk. And that is from Ron Swanson. So let's go ahead and run this. And we have our quote now. So we're gonna be using this. And the first one that we're gonna use is actually the search. This is the one that I don't use as much. So I wanna kind of get it out of the way before I use find all, split, and sub. So search is gonna create that match object. So let's come right here where we can see both. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say re, so we're calling the regular expression module. We're gonna do re.search. And we're gonna search for a specific pattern. Now we're gonna keep it really simple. Like I said, we're just gonna do milk. We're searching for milk and where are we searching? We're searching within the quote and that's all we need. Let's go ahead and run this. And like I said before, it's returning this match object. So it's been created and it even tells us that there was a match at the 52 to 56 position and that the match was milk. Now notice that it only got one of the matches. So we actually have milk twice in here. We have milk over here and way over here. Now, if we want to use this, we wanna see what it was, we can also do group. And if we run this, we can see that there is milk and that's what we were searching for and that's what was put into that match object. I myself don't use search a lot, although if you're working with like a huge book and you're searching for a specific pattern, um, this actually can be more efficient than some of these other methods that we're gonna be taking a look at, but I just typically don't use this one as much, but that is how it works. Now let's look at find all. Let's come right down here. And let's say re, and we're gonna do dot find all. And again, we're gonna search for milk, but this time when we're looking at it, we're doing find all, which is gonna find all of the results for this pattern. Let's go ahead and run this. Now notice that this one made a list, and this is extremely helpful if you want to take all of these values that match a specific pattern and put it into a list. This find all is extremely helpful. That's why I personally probably like this one the most, if you can have a favorite uh, regex method. This one is probably my favorite because it puts it into a list for you, it's formatted, and remember, right now we're doing a super, super, super simple, just searching for a really simple string. In future lessons, when we look at really more advanced patterns, we'll be able to take a lot of different things and put them into this list, not just you know one word like milk. Something that you can use this for is finding out how many are actually in here. So you can use this with the len function or the length function. And if we run this, we can see that we have two milk in this quote. That's at least something that I use it for, I think is pretty helpful uh, when I'm looking to just see how many are actually in a quote or a text or you know whatever I'm working with. Now let's take a look at split. Let's come right down here. We're gonna say re.split. And this one is going to split on the pattern that you specify. So if we do the exact same thing like we've been doing, which it makes absolutely no sense, but we'll do it really quickly. Um, we're gonna run this. 
If we do it on milk, notice that milk comes, says there's only one thing I hate more than lying, skim milk. So skim is where we're gonna stop that first string right here. Then we have a comma, and notice this is all in the list. So we have our first value, then we have a comma, and then we go to our next one, which is lying about being, which is right here, which is lying about being, and then we have milk. That's where it cuts off, so we're splitting it there as well. Then we have Ron Swanson. So it's splitting it up based off of the specified value. Now, milk makes absolutely no sense. What we would want to do is split it up on something like a period. Now, this is a very real use case where I've taken something like a webinar or I've taken a speech and I've separated it by its actual sentences, which is something like this. Now, if we do a period, this actually represents a meta character. That's going to be something that we take a look at in the next lesson. If we run this, it stands for everything. So it doesn't really work. What we need to do is use a backslash period to actually specify that we're looking at periods like this. The period actually stands for any character. So in the next lesson, we'll dive much more into that, but let's split this based off of the period, the actual period. So we're going to say there's only one thing I hate more than lying, skim milk. That's the first sentence. Then we have, which is water that's lying about being milk. And then we have Ron Swanson. So we split it up based off of the period and it makes much more logical sense when we're actually splitting it into values and putting it into our list. The last one that we're gonna take a look at is sub. And this one is pretty straightforward. You look for a specific pattern and you replace it with a different pattern. So let's go ahead and try this. We'll do re.sub and then we're gonna specify the pattern that we're searching for. So I'll say I, and then what do we wanna replace it with? And we'll just do U. We'll keep it super simple. Again, we'll look at our quote. And let me actually bring this down uh, so we can uh, see it right here. So I'm saying re.sub. I'm replacing the I, which I believe it's just here. And I'm replacing it with U. And let's go ahead and run this. And now it says there's only one thing you hate more than lying, skim milk. But we could do anything and we can do multiple values. So we could say milk as well. Let's go ahead and replace milk with uh, skim dairy. I don't know, I think that makes sense. Um, so now we have dairy and dairy. So we're able to replace all of them. There is one more parameter in this function that we can use. We can come right here and we can specify the count. So I'll just explicitly say count, but you could just do the comma. Or I'll just say one. Now if I specify one, it's only gonna replace the first one. Let's go ahead and run this. And you'll notice that this one is dairy and this one is milk. And those are all the regex methods that we're gonna look at in this lesson. Now, like I said before, these are very simple patterns that we're looking for. This is not how regex uh, is going to be used when you've learned everything. This is just how we're using it to show these regex methods. In the next two lessons, we're gonna be looking at meta characters and character classes, and those are really gonna allow you to specify what pattern you're looking for, not just a hard value like milk, but what pattern you're actually wanting to search for. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.